Dear students, continuing with our lecture series on named reactions. This is our 26th lecture. And in this lecture, we will discuss what is hoffman doffler wittig reaction. Uh, this reaction is also known as HLF reaction uh, commonly. Uh, basically, uh, this reaction is uh, when N halogenated amines uh, they are reacted uh, under strong ST conditions, uh, under thermal conditions, or even photochemically, uh, when they they are reacted, they are converted into uh, pyrrolidines or piperidines uh, through cyclization reactions. If this uh, N is 1, then pyrrolidines they are formed. When N is 2, piperidines, that is uh, 6 membered ring uh, amines, they are formed as the product. And as far as the mechanism of this reaction is concerned, uh, this is an intramolecular free radical uh, functionalization reaction uh, leading to the cyclization to give us uh, hoffman doffler fittig reaction uh, using uh, S, uh, thermal or uh, photochemical conditions. Uh, the reaction uh, was reported in 1883 and uh, the mechanism has been established in 70 years, over a period of 70 years in 1950s. And uh, the mechanism was uh, mainly investigated by Vazonik and later on by Puri also. Uh, the Vazonik uh, concluded that a radical chain reaction pathway is involved. Uh, according to his experiment, when N chloro N methyl cyclooctylamine. Uh, is uh, reacted with chlorine in presence of strong ST conditions, sulfuric acid, under photochemical conditions or using hydrogen peroxide in dark, then uh, this n chloroamine undergoes cyclization to give us N-methyl uh, granatinine uh, as the product. And uh, this type of cyclization is only possible if a radical chain reaction pathway is involved. Uh, similarly, on different grounds, Corey uh, studied the mechanism uh, based on stereochemistry, hydrogen isotopic effect, initiation uh, of the reaction, then inhibition of the reaction, then the catalysts uh, which are used uh, based on those, uh, the mechanism was also studied. Then the types of intermediates formed and uh, the selectivity of the hydrogen transfer. So all these aspects they were studied by Kore, uh, which concluded that a free radical chain mechanism is involved in this type of intramolecular hydrogen uh, transfer in the reaction. For example, when he studied the stereochemistry, uh, using optically active and chloromines uh, like this where uh, the delta uh, carbon was bearing a, a hydrogen and a deuterated hydrogen. So deuterium and hydrogen because of this, uh, this is an optically active and chloromine. So when this was reacted with uh, sulfuric acid at 90 degrees centigrade, the product formed was an optically inactive 1 to dimethyl pyrrolate. So uh, the formation of this optically inactive product uh, concludes that uh, there is an intermediate species where uh, the this uh, delta carbon uh, will be having a sp2 hybrid, uh, hybridized structure. So based on all these uh, factors collectively a mechanism has been given which involves uh, three steps, initiation step, propagation step and termination step uh, which is uh, the basic steps uh, which we see in most of the free radical reactions. So in the initiation step, uh, N-chloroamine uh, 
reacts with the acid uh, which we are using as a strong acid for uh, this cyclization reaction. So this lone pair present on nitrogen interacts with the uh, proton uh, from the acid and we get these types of uh, ammonium uh, uh, ammonium intermediates uh, in the reaction and then uh, either thermally or photochemically uh, these uh, this uh, nitrogen halogen bond breaks uh, through formation of uh, halogen free radical and a nitrogen based radical cation is formed then uh, this uh, nitrogen based radical uh, cation abstracts uh, H radical from uh, delta carbon uh, uh, atom this is alpha, beta, gamma and delta carbon. So this delta hydrogen uh, in the form of H radical is shifted to this place uh, to this nitrogen and an alkyl radical is formed and this alkyl uh, radical uh, then reacts with another molecule of uh, the ammonium salt formed in the first step by reaction with the proton and uh, uh, this X radical which can be uh, formed from this uh, will lead to form a carbon halogen bond at this place and we will get uh, this uh, ammonium uh, salt and a nitrogen based radical cation is formed in the propagation step. Then this ammonium uh, salt will lose uh, a proton in the presence of a base and uh, this neutral uh, open chain amine will be formed uh, which uh, will attack this delta carbon with the elimination of the halogen from here so H from here and X from here is eliminated to give us pyrrolidines as the product and if uh, uh, the delta carbon is not having uh, uh, not having any hydrogen then uh, hydrogen is removed from the next carbon and we will get six number ring compounds but uh, most common uh, reaction in case of uh, uh, this uh, cyclization reaction is formation of pyrrolidines. There are some of the common uh, applications of HLF reaction uh, is uh, synthesis of uh, alproline from and chloromines under uh, strongly acidic conditions. Uh, Photochemically, when uh, these types of uh, anchloromines uh, they are reacted under these conditions, uh, first uh, pyrrolidine esters they are formed, and in presence of basic condition that ester undergoes hydrolysis to give us alproline amino acid as the product. So this is a very important reaction for the synthesis of alproline of when laughter reaction. Then uh, potential and sex pheromone precursors uh, like octahydroindolizine. Uh, this can be synthesized from uh, HLF reaction. Uh, when these types of uh, anchloro uh, cyclohexyl amines they are reacted uh, with uh, sulfuric acid in under photochemical conditions in presence of sodium hydroxide, then 25% uh, of the product on this, this type of octahydro indolazine uh, derivatives they are formed, which are potential and sex pheromone precursors. Then, uh, vegan synthesis of uh, as a bicyclo octane derivatives can also be achieved uh, through HLF uh, methodology. So when these types of N-chloromines they are reacted with uh, trifluoroacetic acid under photochemical condition in presence of sodium hydroxide then again through uh, free radical mechanism uh, this undergo cyclization to give us uh, these types of as a bicyclo-octane 
derivatives and this ketone group is formed uh, due to the uh, presence of sodium hydroxide when hydrolysis of so this diethylamide will take place to give us ketones as the product whereas uh, HLF reaction will lead to the cyclization to give us these types of fiber pyrolytic break. Then uh, we can also synthesize uh, these types of uh, 6-15-16 amino podocarpine uh, trienes as the product from n chloro uh, bicyclic uh, amines. So uh, when these types of bicyclic chloroamines, uh, they are reacted with trifluoroacetic acid under photochemical conditions in presence of sodium hydroxide, uh, then 39% of the product of this type of triene, 8, 11, 13, triene is formed uh, through uh, HLF reaction and uh, the reaction takes place under photochem. Then uh, when uh, adamantane derivative uh, of anchloromines, uh, they are reacted under HLF conditions, uh, they are first converted into these types uh, of uh, products where uh, the chloro group uh, uh, replaces uh, is replaced by or substituted by hydrogen from uh, this position in the adamant and uh, this type of uh, chloromine under th uh, thermal conditions is converted into uh, these types of pyrolytic derivatives uh, by HLF reaction. Uh, then uh, derivatives of uh, diiza 26 adamantane these types of uh, products they can be formed through uh, standard hlf reaction conditions when n bromo uh, adamantane derivatives they are reacted under hlf conditions Then there are some uh, modifications which are used in HLF methodology. Uh, therein uh, we can uh, synthesize different types of uh, product. And most common among these modification is uh, Suray's uh, modification. Here uh, these uh, types of analkyl saccharines they can be synthesized uh, from these types of analkyl orthomethyl arene sulfonamides. So when uh, analkyl uh, orthomethyl uh, arene sulfonamides they are reacted with uh, phenyl iodoacetate uh, in presence of iodine uh, in tungsten uh, lamp under tungsten lamp this is radiated then uh, first through free radical reaction H radical is removed from here and uh, anhydro derivatives they are formed then these anhydro derivatives uh, they will give us free radicals where uh, there is a 1,5 hydrogen shift taking place uh, between this carbon and this nitrogen so hydrogen uh, H radical from here is shifted to hydrogen uh, nitrogen and here we will have a free radical carbon free radical form and then this uh, free radical will react with iodine to give us this type of hydro derivative and likewise all the three hydrogen present on this carbon they are replaced by hydro groups and then molecule of uh, uh, HI hydro iodic acid is removed uh, and the cyclization takes place at uh, this nitrogen and this carbon and we will get this type of intermediate and this on hydrolysis uh, will give us these types of saccharines as the product so slight modification of the hlf conditions lead to the formation of saccharines from these types of analkyl arene sulfur 
Similarly, sulfonamides of primary uh, imides which are having an aromatic ring at the gamma position, they also uh, under uh, Suray's modification react with phenyl iodide estate uh, in presence of iodine and photochemical conditions uh, give us 72% of uh, these types of products 1, 2, 3, 4 tetrahydroquinoline derivatives. So uh, these uh, uh, on uh, these uh, sulfonamides on hydrolysis can lead to the formation of uh, aromatic amines as the product. Then another example of uh, Suray's modification is uh, in case of steroids and uh, triterpenoid compounds when uh, these are reacted with phosphoramidate uh, esters uh, they react with phenyl iodide acetate or uh, lead acetate in presence of iodine under chemical conditions and we get uh, the cyclic amines as the product so uh, pyrolidines they are formed as the product uh, similarly, HLF reaction is also used for the preparation of uh, steroid alkaloids like uh, honicin derivatives and the mechanism of the reaction is same. When n derivatives uh, they are reacted, then pyrrolidine ring is formed as the product. Then recently, uh, the asymmetric uh, HLF reaction has also been uh, performed. Here, one, two amino alcohols, uh, they have been synthesized in 99% anisomeric excess from uh, alcohols uh, using uh, different type of uh, conditions. Either uh, we can use Suray's uh, uh, modif modified conditions or uh, we can use photocatalyst and uh, this uh, through HLF reaction lead to the formation of these types of cyclic products which on hydrolysis gave us uh, one to amino alcohols which can be asymmetric or racemic depending upon the conditions. So these uh, two reactions uh, they are very recent to, uh, to uh, 2017 and 2020 this asymmetric variant of this synthesis of one to amino alcohol has been achieved through HLF reaction. So these are the references which uh, have been referred uh, for the for preparing this lecture. Thank you very much.